Well, first one in today is an EP3 for a map on the Honda Vert system. Um, it's got some modifications, as you can see, it's got the great big Tegra induction kit. Uh, what else has it got? It's got a four to one manifold, uh, decat and exhaust. So we'll see what we get out of it today. Initially, we're gonna, uh, it is already strapped to the dyno, so we're gonna do a standard power run. That standard power run will give us a, a base figure and give us something to aim at, give us, certainly give us something to, uh, to improve upon. Um, then we'll fit the Honda Ver ECU, upload a base file to it, um, a Dynaday's base file. That will get us in the ballpark and then we'll start tuning. Um, we'll look at that. A lovely Kaizen dipstick. Um, but yeah, that is uh, that is the plan for today. Uh, one of the jobs we've got, certainly. And uh, hopefully it will make some noise. Spit a few flames out. Scream some VTEC. You know how it is. Our run is done and we've made ourselves 205 brake horsepower on the standard ECU. Richard's now installing the um, Honda Vert ECU. Um, base file will be flashed onto that. That will get us in the ballpark and then we'll start tuning. Good morning, Richard. How the devil are we? Bit Wednesday-ish. Bit Wednesday-ish. Mm. Today you're going to enjoy mapping this Honda Civic EP3. Are you telling me I'm, I'm going to enjoy you. it? I'm telling you. You're telling me I'm going to enjoy you're it? You're going to enjoy it? I'm telling you. Oh, okay. It's better than working on Fiat's, mate. Whoever well, pays the bills, mate. I'm not accepting that. <laughs> Just sat in that office, do you know how much stuff I actually turned away from this place? Well, mate. 80%. <laughs> We're booked up three weeks in advance, mate. Do you want to, do you want to work at this Fiat Punta? No, I don't. No, I don't. I'm sorry, we don't work on those. Yeah. Hello, my friend. I've got a 18T Seat Leon Cupra. Start with, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that, my yeah. friend. <laughs> they go from there. Yeah. Right, well, come on then, back to your station. Oh, back to my station. <laughs>
There's another EP3 in the bag. Yeah, another. Do you know what? When I was sit, sat filming the flames at the back, mm. I, the angle of the exhaust was pointing straight at where I was filming. Oh, that's pretty silly. I, I know, right, yeah, yeah, but whilst I was sat down cross leg, it, it sort of semi blinded me, so I just had to shut my eyes. Sit there and put up with it. And put up with it. But yeah, the flame was massive out of the back. But I know that's beside the point. But uh, it backed up all right, didn't it? Yeah, much more right. I think you know we've got take away air box, which we don't need to go over that because everyone knows how we feel about that. Uh, you know, people just don't take them apart, clean the filters out and stuff. I'm sure they're perfectly great and serviceable when they're looked after, but not necessarily get looked after. Uh, you know, people buy them second hand, don't even bother opening them up, see if the filter's blocked. Uh, got a 4 to 1 manifold on it, got an unknown exhaust on it. Um, so, yeah, I think 225 is all right. I think there's improvement there to be had. But Do you know it made 50, over 50 brake horsepower near 6,000 RPM? Yeah, I mean, we always know these make good gains. I mean, the, you know, the, a map is well worth doing. I mean, when you look at numbers, it's 20 brake horsepower up. On an NA car? Uh, in, 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 peak, in peak terms, in peak numbers. Uh, but yeah, but when you're talking like 50 or just over 50 brake in the mid range, then that's... Uh, that's know, where you drive it. That's where you drive it. And that makes a massive difference. The FNs just don't get the same bang for the buck, um, which the FN2 boys are really upset about. No, no. Um, I'm, I'm one of them, boys. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, we Fix took... Fix it. Well, we can't fix it. I think it, I think it is solely down to the exhaust design on the FN2 Make because the fuel... Because the fuel tank's in the middle of the car, which a lot of people don't realise, yeah. pretty much under the driver and passenger seat, uh, you know, for weight distribution, then, uh, you know, they just, you can't run the exhaust, so, it has to go round it. So what you're telling me is to put a, uh, is to put a, a fuel cell in the boot and then run an exhaust as, as direct. No, that's definitely not what I'm telling you. That's what he's telling me. I'm not. I'm definitely not telling so, you to do that. That sounds like hard work, Richard. Yeah, it does sound Thanks like Thanks for it. volunteering yourself for that. No, it sounds a lot of hard work and I won't be doing that. <laughs> Yeah, so there you go, there's a good one. Let's have a look at the graph, guys. So as I always say, red liners as she came in, blue liners as she leaves. Um, gains right across the rev range, especially in that mid area, mid section of the graph where we're up uh, 55 brake horsepower at one point. For an NA car, that's just phenomenal, ain't it? These Honda K20s are just amazing. Uh, we've made gains at peak power, extended the rev range, lowered the VTEC to where it makes most power, and we have finished today on 224 brake horsepower, which is 191 at the wheels. Uh, the car behaved itself, it's a good one. It seems to uh, flame really well, so the video is gonna look fantastic. But there you go, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, guys. Thanks for, uh, thanks for, thanks for stopping by. Uh, thanks to those of you that joined us in the morning for our morning chats as well on YouTube. They sort of happen around 8 a.m., so if you ever got any questions to ask and you want to speak to us, one of us live, then, then jump in on those YouTube chats in the morning. But uh, other than that, we shall see you on the next video. Um, yeah, that's us for today. Richard, we'll see you on the next video, won't we, mate? We will indeed. Fast.